does Isaac start against Manchester City on Saturday? He's got to. There was a positive, I guess, when Isaac come on. He brightened us up um, so much uh, up top. And, you know, there's a big decision to be made with him. He's, in, he's a club record, £60 million striker. We aren't scoring goals. He's been here six months. I know I know that he's had an injury layoff in that time. But he's been here six months. We're still reluctant to start him. How is he seen? Is he a centre forward? Is he a 10? Is he a wide player? This we, this is an ideal time now to bite the bullet, stick him in for a run in the side and see what we get out of him. If he was worth 60 million of the new owner's money, which is big deal, he's going to bring something to the table, surely. And now's the time to find out. Because in six months, we've found out very little about him, Andrew. Does Isaac start against Manchester City on Saturday? He's got to. He's, as I say, he's 60 million. We've got the, the, the League Cup final out of the way. And I mean that in a nice way. It doesn't, quali doesn't muddy the pitch, if you like, because I think Gordon has to start as well. Something different has got to happen. We've got to get out of this malaise, out of the what, if you like, if, if the way we've played and the results we've got in 2023. Now, <clears throat> that's got to be part morale, part tweaking of tactics, and part fresh faces to freshen up the side. We know that Nick Pope will be back in goal at Man City, and I think you've got to go with Gordon and Isaac because you've got to change the faces. If we, if Eddie stays loyal and he's very good at loyalty to the to usual players. They are mentally exhausted. They've run out of ideas. They're running on... It's like a car running on an empty tank of petrol. Um, it, it's got to be changed in two. And it's very limited when you look at the bench at Wembley. It's very limited what you can do. But what you can do is start £100 million worth of talent, which is Isaac and Gordon. Gordon, I know why he's been just put in slowly because he couldn't play in the final. But that's out the way now. He could play every game. Isaac could play every game. You've got to give them both a chance. Otherwise, why did you spend all that money? So who do those two come in for then? Are you assuming Isaac comes in for Wilson? They're not going to start together, in your opinion? No, Callum Wilson, Callum Wilson to go out. He's looked very the World Cup. I've been so disappointed in him because he, he, he's he got all the basics of being a good striker. He looks so far off the pole, off the pace, so rusty and so lethargic. Uh, he scored one goal, I think, in, last, in his last 13 ga games for us. And I'm afraid he's got to go out the side. And I'm afraid this is a tough old world. I would take some maximum out and play Gordon because he's best position is wide left, but you've got to start Gordon and Isaac and you've got to get them in the team, whichever way Eddie wants to get them in the team. Um, Isaac for Wilson is an obvious way of getting him in and you can put Gordon in anywhere along the line, but at the moment I would probably put him in first for Max. Do you think that Eddie Howe got it wrong on, on Sunday in terms of starting Wilson over Isaac? <laughs> I always thought he would. Um, it's easy with hindsight to say yes, because uh, I, I thought uh, Wilson was very, very poor. Not average, he was poor. And Isaac gave them a huge lift when he come on. So it's very easy to say that should happen. But Wilson's got such a history of this club as being the greatest potential goal scorer, perhaps in the past, the only goal scorer we've got. And, and he started the season like an express train before the World Cup and cynics would say that's why he started like an express train because he wanted to go to the World Cup. So I knew that he would. I knew in my heart he would start with Wilson so I never considered anything else because you knew he was going to start with Wilson because he's a Wilson fan and he's a loyal manager. Um, but I think even... Eddie must now run out of patience and say, we've got to try something different. We must try something different. And and that means Isaac's got to start. And, and, and for me, Gordon's got to start because apart from Pope, which isn't a change, it's reverting to nature, what other changes are we going to make? 
And uh, you, you know, I would leave Joe Linton in midfield and play and play Gordon wide and play Isaac at centre forward. 